Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here with another word of encouragement for you from Zion Unleashed, the church without walls. Today's word of encouragement comes from a story that's probably pretty familiar to us if we go to church, especially on Sundays. Uh, the verse I want to read for you comes from John chapter 21, verses 15, which says, After breakfast, Jesus asked Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, Peter replied, you know I love you. Then feed my lambs, Jesus told him. You know, one of the things I think about with that story, of just a little bit of background, as you probably know, it's uh, after Jesus had been crucified, as for he's risen from the dead, and he meets the, uh, the 11 disciples uh, on the seashore, and uh, he singles out Peter, and he calls Peter over him to say, Peter, do you love me? Um, and I've often wondered uh, why that is that he singled just Peter out. And I think there's a reason for that. And it's not maybe a deep theological reason. But um, among other things, Jesus, uh, Peter rather uh, was of the disciples other than Judas, who is no longer in the picture. Jesus, or Peter's failure rather, was uh, more exposed, more evident uh, than any of the others. Peter wasn't the only one that denied Jesus. He wasn't the only one that professed that he would follow Jesus. But his was the most pronounced. And I think by Jesus saying to Peter, uh, Peter, do you love me? It was really Jesus saying to Peter, Peter, I love you. I still have a place for you in my kingdom. Are you willing to take that place? And I think for the other disciples, it was like, wow, <laughs> Jesus forgave Peter? If Jesus forgave Peter, he can forgive me. If Peter still has value in Jesus' kingdom, I still have value in Jesus' kingdom. So it wasn't just Jesus and Peter uh, that the message was going out to us, to all of us, that, that no matter what you've done, no matter how many times you've betrayed him, no many time, how many times you've denied him, uh, Jesus says, do you love me? You have a place in my kingdom. Will you take it? So that's my word of encouragement. Wherever you are today, whatever struggles you're going through, is just to remember Jesus has a place for you. He loves you dearly. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Let's have a word of prayer together. For Lord Jesus, I just thank you for your love, your forgiveness, your grace. I just ask that you would help each of us to remember that we have value in your kingdom, that we're somebody, that we're important to you. And I thank you for your forgiveness and grace. I also pray, Father God, for those that are struggling with the variety of Ill, uh, situations today. There's some that I know uh, that are mourning the loss of loved ones. There's some that are struggling with illness. There's some that are struggling with finances and relationships. Uh, Lord, I just lay all those things at your feet and ask that you would be glorified in all this, and I don't know how you do. I pray for those on the medical field, the front lines, uh, the emergency personnel, uh, that you protect them, keep them safe, and I pray for um, <clears throat> for our uh, political leadership and just ask that uh, they would be able to come together to take care of the people and not just themselves. I thank you for all these things in your name. Amen. Hey, thanks for stopping in today. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time.